Hi guys, it's me, Ra. Welcome to the finale of Bad Boy Bachelor Island. This is the last episode, episode 30. I'm so thrilled to play this. Oh my gosh. Uh, am I getting married? The couple has decided to write their own vows. So without further ado, Chris... Chris! He's getting married too. The kill fucking person. Oh my god, this is so emotive. My dearest tequila, most of my adult life has been an alcoholic haze, punctuated by blackout rage at thorns and vomit. Lots of vomit. But then he walked into my life, and I thought if, if someone so perfect could love me in spite of myself, that maybe I was worth saving after all. Wow, I've never actually been to a wedding before. Seriously? They sure are emotional. My dearest Chris, my mama always told me I'd meet someone who'd love me for exactly who I am. I'll admit, there were many dark years where I nearly lost hope, but my mama owes you big lover because you made her ride us rain. Hmm? My goodness, I'm so moved. What is happening to me right now? By the power best in me, I now pronounce you men and wife. You can kiss the bride. Oh my god, I want to get married. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Why? Dios mío, no. No quiero. <clears throat> I never thought I'd ever actually want to get married. But Rowan is just so perfect. I want to marry him so badly. But, but what if he doesn't want to marry me? That would be the end of my entire world. Oh, hey, Drew. Jesus, I know it was a beautiful ceremony, but pull yourself together, man. It's not that. This is the end of our time here, you know? I guess I've been holding out hope thinking that Alicia would come back. But now I know we're officially over. Oh, Drew, I'm so sorry. I had no idea how in love we with her you are and always will be. So I guess that means I can look forward to a sad life as a girl of lonely homicide detective with a world of past regret. No, not that tired old stereotype. Drew? Oh my god, Alicia is back. Oh, oh my god, I don't even know what's happening right now. Go to her, you big nut. I'm afraid to hope, Alicia. What does this mean? I was so angry and humiliated by the way you treated me that night, Drew. But then, I watched the show, and I saw how sad you and remorseful you were. And how you pined for me again and again, and I knew I had to give you one last chance. Are you serious? As a heart attack, baby. <gasps> oh my god, true love wins the day. But that's not the only reason I came back. I saw what a scary time you and Rowan went through. You were my closest friend here, Raluna. I had to make sure my best girl was okay. Oh, Alicia, I missed you. Oh my god, this is so... Uh, for real, like... My character almost start dating Drew. Like, super officially. So, tell me. So, how is everything between the two of you? Great, so great. You don't seem so sure about that. We're solid, that's not it. Then what is it? I don't know, I guess because of Chris and Tequila, how happy they are. Oh, you want to get married? Oh, mi hermana, pero cállese. <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong with that. What if Rowan doesn't? Only one way to find out. How, how, tell me. Propose. <gasps> me? <laughs> I have to propose? Come on, Raluna, it is the 21st century. Women don't have to wait for proposals anymore. You're dang skippy, we don't. But what if he says no? Do you think he's ready? I sure hope so. Raluna, if you want to get married, I would put you... Raluna, if you want to get married, I would put on your big girl panties and put a ring on it. 
Just be sure you find the perfect time. The perfect time? How will I know if it's the perfect time? Trust your gut and follow the signs. You'll know when it's right. Excuse me, Raluna, can I steal Alicia for a minute? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Raluna. And remember, you must find the perfect time. Good luck. Thanks, Amber. The perfect time, the perfect time. This isn't terrifying at all. <clears throat> My perfect, beautiful Raluna. May I please have this dance? He's giving me that look. That look that makes me feel like he can see right into my soul and loves every single bit of it. Could this be the perfect time? Oh! <laughs> no, this is not the perfect time. So let's just go ahead with this. Let's do slow dance a little. So he can get in the mood for later. Phew, Chris is averted. How was I even considering proposing in that moment? Alicia said to find the perfect time. And she also said put a ring on it. Of course, a ring. That's exactly what I need. I need to buy a ring. Man, I have got to start driving places. Hello, anyone here? Um, what is a fine specimen like you doing in my shop at this hour? Oh no, it's the cannibal guy from the farmer's market. Don't eat me. I know Officer Lala. My girlfriend? <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> what can I do for you? I need the perfect engagement ring for the perfect man. Ah, oh, a strong woman with, who breaks with tradition. I like it. I have one. One shelf, one line, one case. What do you want? Mean one. One ring. This is less of a legitimate business and more of a lure. You mean you soccer people in here so you can eat them? Pretty much. But you can have the one ring I've kept around on the house. Oh, thanks! I don't have to pay! Tell Officer Lala I said hi. I don't know your name, but okay. <laughs> ah. This is great. Wow, where'd everyone go? Hey, Raluna. A big group decided to go to the hot tub. We'll join in a bit. Just wanted to savor a private moment to stare into my love's beautiful eyes. Aww. Aww, they're so cute. Aww. Oh my god. <laughs> my character <laughs> said that too. <laughs> hot tub, huh? If I want Rowan to accept my marriage proposal, I'm, I have to look absolutely perfect when he sees me. Ron does love me in exotic two pieces. Boy, this is nerve wracking. What should I wear in the hot tub? Okay, I don't have money for exotic two piece. Let me see the vintage one. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to wear this. Sure. Yes, I'm going to wear it. <laughs> it's perfect, I know, right? Swim time. There's my lover, right where I want him. I was hoping you'd find us. Where did you go? Oh, just to get you a stunning engagement ring. ring. Engagement ring. Oh, just to powder my nose. But it's so funny. You want to powder your nose. What are you trapped in a film noir cliche? He suspected something I could tell. How could I tell the cat that had sent his only brother to the big house? Cut it out, Ragnar. I know you're up to something. Oh no, he's getting upset for no reason. Oh my gosh, I know the perfect way to smooth things over. Don't propose. You're right, I'm up to something, but it's a surprise for you. Can we just leave it at that? When do I get my surprise? When the time is right. I'll admit it, I'm intrigued. But I definitely trust your instincts. As well you should. What the? Did you hear that? Sounded like fireworks. Really? It sounded like an atomic bomb to me. <laughs> like seriously. Let's go check it out. 
Phew, I'm glad I got out of that one. How could I possibly have considered proposing marriage to get in, to get out of an argument? Man, this perfect time thing is harder than it sounds. Get out here, Raluna. Coming. <laughs> I don't really know how to swim. <laughs> IRL. Wow, is that beautiful of or what? Not as beautiful as you. Raluna, you're something else, you know that? You and I have been through so much, and yet you've never lost your sense of humor, Grace, or my love for you, lover bot. <laughs> well, I just want you to know that I repeatedly, repeated, repeatedly getting poisoned and almost dying was worth it to end up with you. Oh, Rowan, that means so much, and you mean so much to me. Ma'am, I'm in love. Wait a minute, could this be the perfect time? Yes, propose. I know we've only just met, but I feel like I've known you my entire life, and I want to know you for the rest of it. Rowan, will you marry me? <gasps> oh my gosh, Raluna, of course I will. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Rowan, I love you so much, and I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Olivia Briggs and I'm the, wing, the writer of Bad Boy Bachelor Island and Bad Boy Bachelor of course. I just wanted to congratulate you and make it to the end of this story. My readers mean everything to me and so does your feedback. Find me on Twitter and Instagram and let me know what you thought. Stay tuned for Bad Boy <gasps> So really, Bad Boy Bachelorette is coming soon? <laughs> Thanks again for my reading. You guys are the best. Well, Olivia Briggs, I'm gonna tag you on this post and I'm gonna tell you my feedback. Obviously, the game has some mistakes, like, especially on the episode where Kim is telling her side of the story and in her and in her flashbacks she's running with the gun on hand so those are kind of small mistakes the game has but the story is very entertaining and you are a great writer and keep doing what you do bye <laughs>